All right, here we go. It's a BBS HD from Bafang. What a piece of crap. So I took it all apart, and you can see the pieces here. Completely redesigned uh, from the BBS 02, which uh, I was pretty happy with. It's really heavy. So the 68mm uh, is uh, 12 pounds, 12 ounces, and uh, the 100mm is well over 13 pounds. So you can see right here we've got the rotor. Um, it's much bigger and heavier. It's got bearings on the end, on both ends. In order to get it out, it's extremely difficult to get out. You have to pry it on either side with a screwdriver to pop it out in order to access the uh, nylon gear. So this is another disappointing thing. It's been kind of a crappy night for me tonight. Because you can see in here, it's got the same nylon gear that the BBS-02 had. Not really very happy about that. Um, they also use a much more powerful silicone to, um, to hold the the, the phase wire is in place, you got to cut it away with a knife or screwdriver. Um, let's see, there's only one needle bearing on the axle instead of the 100 millimeter kit for the BBS-02, which has three needle bearings. And then also the freewheel is not permanently mounted to the axle anymore. It's, uh, it has its own casing, um, shown here it's a lot heavier metal. Uh, it's pretty easy to take apart, except for getting the rotor out. It takes a lot of force. Um, when you unscrew to get access to the uh, nylon primary gear reduction system, you need to use a screwdriver like this, put all your force on it, and then use vice grips on the screwdriver to turn the screwdriver. Otherwise, it's guaranteed to strip out. Um, and that's pretty much it. BBS HD. It's heavy. Uh, beefy. I can't believe they're only running 1500 watts of this thing. It could probably take 3000. So, thanks for watching.